everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, whimsically known as Glenda the Good Stitch. Very frequently, customers email me with questions about fitting, designing, and sewing. And this particular lady just really had an excellent fitting bodice, but there was one little thing left that she wanted to refine, and that was this tiny little fold that was in the arm side area. Now, that can happen, and what that usually is telling you is that you need a bigger bust start. And so I showed her the easy process of making that change, and I would like to show that to you. But before I actually get into the process of showing it to you, I'd like to show you the after shot as well you can see how beautifully that is fitting her now in that arm side and bust area. Now, when you've got uh, your bodice on and you do get a little tuck like that, just put a pin where the area of the tuck is and get an idea of how wide that little tuck is because we want to draw a cutting line going to that area in the armhole. And of course, as I said, make sure you know approximately how wide that tuck is. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw a line coming from that area of the armhole and we're gonna draw it right up to the apex. And I'll just draw that in blue so that you can see that. And we're going to ultimately overlap and close that tuck and we're gonna put it into the center of the dart. So I just drew a blue line going through the center of the dart, again, up to the tip of the apex. Now, before I start cutting on anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on either side of this line my quarter inch, and that just tells me that I'm going to be removing that half inch of space, which is that little tuck that got created in the arm side. And again, before I cut, I'm going to put a little piece of tape over top of the apex like this just to stabilize the pivot point. Now we're ready to cut. And so starting at the apex, I'm going to cut through the center of the dart and from the apex, trying not to cut my pivot point out in the blue line that's going through the arm side. And let's see if I've got enough pivoting space. I need to cut just a little bit deeper into that pivot point. So I'll just use my scissors to do that, like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is overlap that quarter inch marking to this quarter inch marking. Just realign this, and it would look like this and we'll tape this shut. So that got rid of that little bit of tucking that was in the arm side area, and you can see that it opened it up in the bust start. So now you just take a piece of tracing vellum and lay that underneath and tape that in place, and now you've created the wider dart that you need to go over uh, your full bust line. And tape it down well. And the dart stitching tip actually opened up a little bit, so I'm going to remark that like this, and then you would draw the uh, new stitching lines up like this. And of course, you would connect like that in that area as well. So now you've got your wider dart, and it's closed up the armhole. Now, you all know that that's shortened the length of the armhole, which means that your sleeve cap in the front likely has a little bit too much ease right now. So what you need to do is shorten the length of that front sleeve cap, as this particular lady did, and you're going to find instructions for helping you to work on that sleeve cap in the SureFit Designs Learning Center. There is an article called Sleeves and All Their Quirkiness where I talk about the height and the width of the sleeve and how to change the relationship of the length of the sleeve if you need to to remove less ease or if you needed more ease to add more ease. Now we're going to go back and take a look at a finished garment that this particular customer uh, sewed from her basic fitting test garment. And here we've got our designer dress, and you can see what she has accomplished is close to the 100% perfect copy 
of this famous designer dress, including the designer belt. I think you'd agree, she's done an absolutely beautiful job. And that's the kind of result that you can get with SureFit Designs. And so if you're not already a part of the SureFit Designs community, I do invite you to join us. And it's just three simple and very easy steps. Number one, go on over to surefitdesigns.com and join our newsletter list. And when you join, you're going to end up with free getting started gifts. Number two, Make sure you like this uh, video by using the subscribe button and the like button right below it. My YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash surefitdesigns. And thirdly, join our community, go to Facebook. We've got a Surefit Designs page and a Surefit Designs user group page where people from all over the world are interacting with one another. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.